All right, everybody. Welcome back to Kimchi Rednecks. We're doing a follow-up video, because um, if you can't tell, we're back at our little friendly garage that we work at, and Aoi is back up on the, the lift, and she, she needs a bit of a bath. It's been a, it's been a minute. So we're going to try and fix the rest of the air oil separator, you know, take the zip ties off of it and actually bolt it into place if we can find a lift there to mount the, the bracket on. And it's time to change the winter tires to the summer tires. So it's an important thing to remember. If you have dedicated cold weather tires, when the average temperature of the day gets above like 45 degrees, you're supposed to change them back over so that you don't like make the, your winter tires too warm and, and wear them down too fast. Save money. So we're gonna get these off, put the summer tires back on, and then we'll get to the zip ties. All right, so tires are on. Always remember on your tires, when you're mounting them, there is, let's see if I can find it real quick, a rotation marker. The rotation goes toward the front of the car, which means that this tire goes on this side of the car because it rotates that way. If you mount them backwards, you're gonna notice something's really wonky really quick. Fortunately, you can, if you catch it, you can, <laughs> you can fix it. So. Where we left off last time this was, is beautiful work. yes, this beautiful bit of work right here. I've got the air oil separator zip tied to its bracket. So what we're gonna do is pull the battery, cut these zip ties. All right, and for our fans, remember, how do we pull the battery? Oh yes, it's uh, coming off, it's negative then positive. All right. Um, so we're gonna cut the ties, unmount the bracket, and I've gotta find a, a nut or a bolt that's like, a half inch tall to put under that bracket to lift it up enough. So okay, let's get started. Yay. All right. So we've got the battery out. And so if you swing around here and take a look right there, we've got a 10 mil bolt. And then right over here, if you can see straight down there, that little hole there had a bolt in it that uses a freaking Allen key. That's always good. So that was, was good that you had one on you. not fun. And then there's another 10 mil bolt on the wall over here. So I'm going to take those off and then we're going to see if we can change our mounting point here. Are you having fun yet? Oh yeah. All right. So update. It's been like what? An hour, an hour, hour and a half. Um, so the battery bracket, this part was hooked up like that. So I've had to bend it down to be able to get the bracket for this part on top of it. Yeah, like that. So our first thought was I was going to get this nice rubber grommet with a washer and put it basically on top of there and put that on top of that. That did not work, that did not work for two reasons. One, I do not, I, yeah, well, one, who, yeah, whoever ran or catted in this line that runs right here, it's some sort of, some sort of molded hard line that runs right through there, must have had some sort of evil pact with Satan to make the most annoying line in the universe. It is in the way of everything, and that person needs to go to hell and die. And you can't move that freaking line. You, you can move this line about not far enough an inch <laughs> so next plan of attack i looked around and i found a nut which is about the right uh, yeah well i didn't have to look very far to find a nut but Wait, that, are you calling me a nut? that fits the screw so i've threaded it through just to where it starts showing god help us this better work and i'm going to try and mount that up that way yeah this is this that has way. been so much fun guys right all right so let's see how that works Okay, moderate success. We've got, if we can, 
turn the, the light in here. We finally got the bracket down there remounted. I had to bend it and then the aluminum one down there in place, I had to trim part of it off. But it fits and it's, it's, it's not, in. It's not quite bolt in, a little massaging is required, but everything is in and the wires in. And when I'm on the last bolt and for the sake of little green apples, please manufacturing companies, do not put hex head bolts in an engine compartment. Tell us how you really feel. Phillips head, the regular hex head bolts are, or 12 head bolts or whatever, something you can put a socket wrench on. These things almost always have to be done with one of these, unless you happen to have these tiny little Allen wrench or hex head wrench or whatever these are in an impact set or a socket set. Not everybody has those. It's annoying as hell. But you have them, so Please stop it. <laughs> I do, but they're at home and they're not with me and that's why it's annoying the crap out of me. So, let me get this. Are, are we filming the last screw? Yes, we'll, we'll film the last screw. Ooh. Yeah. All right, let's make sure this is not cross-threaded. There we go. And there we go. It is bolted into place. It is properly affixed into position. Now, I just gotta put the battery back in. Like, subscribe, have fun. I'll work on it again sometime.